Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 696. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, and then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 686 to 697. Hey, in this trick here, this is from the Mr. Excel message board. Um, we have a column of IDs and messages, and all we need to do is anytime there are duplicates in the system, we need a separate column to put a show a one if it's uh, the first occurrence and a zero if it's um, any subsequent occurrence. So the pattern would look like this. All right, lots of different ways to do this. If you have 2007 or 10, however, probably the best way to do it is just to use the count ifs function, which is alpha frog posted this equals count ifs. And we're going to use expandable ranges in all of these. So we're going to say, hey, count ifs, the, the criteria range is this, shift colon. Okay, now we need to, uh, since this needs to be expandable, we need to lock this. I'm going to put my cursor right there and hit F4, F4. Lock it going down, but not, uh, lock it, lock this one, but not this one, so it expands. That blue box will get larger as we go down. And we're going to count with the criteria of this. Right here, it'll be a count of one. Here, it'll be a count of two. Now, we'll do the same thing here. Shift colon. I'm going to put my cursor right here, F4, F4, comma, and we're counting this one. Right, so now there's two criteria. So we'll get um, how many of both of those? One, but one get, gets down to here or any time else in the you know list it sees a one and a lost, it will get a count of two, three, etc. Close parentheses and now we need to convert this to a true false, so we say one that's equal to one. And you copy it down. And sure enough we get our pattern. There are our trues. Now this person needed a one and a zero. Also, another requirement on this is, is there was like 30,000 rows of uh, data or something like that. So it needed to be calculate quickly. Now Alpha Frog did something cool. He used the end function. If you haven't seen the end function, if I can move this over here, converts non-number values to a number, dates to serial numbers, true to one, and anything else to zero. So no way. When it sees a true, it'll convert it to one and a zero for that false. So I'm going to open that and then just contain that true false in an N. Double click and send it down. Now that's probably, uh, that is the fastest calculating if you, um, actually the last one here we're going to do is faster calculating, but this is pretty fast calculating, count ifs when you have multiple criteria like this. Um, and it doesn't have to use an extra column. All these other ones are going to use an extra column. Actually, I have not timed these. If I was guessing uh, this one because it doesn't use an extra column and the very last one that Aladdin posted are uh, the two fastest. All right, so what if you don't have 2007 and 10? Well, no problem. For 2003, we're going to have to come over here and create escape. We're going to have to cr create a new column where we join the two and then we could use the count if function. So I'm going to say equals this shift 7 which is the ampersand, the join symbol and that. Our formula control enter and double click and send it down. All this does is it allows us to take uh, two columns and make it one and so now we can use the count if. Now uh, Alpha Frog proposed the n version again with count if. Again we have our expandable range comma and our criteria close parentheses and I got got to make sure to uh, lock that and then we simply say hey is that equal to one copy right and then you can double click and send that down works perfectly but we had to add this extra column that is um, sometimes a great way to uh, speed up uh, formula calculating so you don't have lots of uh, huge ranges in your formula. I'm going to right click hide these. Uh, the one I proposed was very similar. I just didn't use the N in open parentheses. I had that same count if using that extra column. Uh, close parentheses and I just added zero because if we add we're getting trues and falses from this and when we add zero or double negative uh, it'll convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. So certainly, probably even a little bit faster calculating uh, would be this. 
So you could do double negative. All right, and then uh, Aladdin had a, a great idea too. If we're going to use this here, there's an even faster way because uh, uh, count if uh, will calculate a little, little bit slower than match function, and uh, we can use the match with is number. And what Aladdin did here was very ingenious. Let's take a look here. We'll look at the inside of the formula. We'll look at the match part first. Match is a lookup function that will look up and return the ordinal position. We're going to look up this item right here, comma, and we need an expandable range. But watch this. We're going to say always start, um, you know, this will be an expandable range, but always look at the range above, not including the current uh, row that the match is looking in. We're going to shift colon and then lock this right here. F4, so it's lot, that's an expandable range. And we're going to do comma zero for exact match. That way, exact match, if it's uh, returning a match and it has lots of duplicates, it will only return the ordinal position of the first one. Close parentheses. Now, this is interesting right here. It's going to give us an NA. What in the world is going on there? We're going to wrap an is number. And notice, that really is one we're interested in. Uh, that one we're not, that we're interested in, that we're not, th we're interested in that. So all the NAs are the ones we're interested in. The numbers are not. But watch this. Is number. Now it's kind of, it gets kind of confusing here because now we have falses in all the places that that really is the first occurrence, right? That's really, we're ultimately trying to get a one here. But watch this. If you take 1 minus that construction right there, that will work just fine. Kind of seems backwards, but sure does work well. All right, um, those, there's actually one last uh, post. We're not going to do that one there from that post, but there are some uh, great ways to indicate with a 0 or 1 whether the two columns represent uh, a unique item. Let me unhide this uh, from a bunch of people at the Mr. Excel message board. All right, we'll see you next trick.